So the first summertime thing that you'll definitely want to check out in the Gainesville area is going to be all of the springs nearby. So one of our favorite springs is going to be the Itchentucky Springs. It's about 45 minutes outside of Gainesville in Fort White. And if you're just looking to go in the springs and play in the water, head straight to the north entrance. Um, but if you want to inner tube and go down the river and everything, you'll want to start at the south entrance. On your way out there, you'll pass a few different places where you can rent inner tubes. That's definitely an option. Or you can just wait until you get to the south entrance and rent them directly from the park. Now you do have to pay about $6 to get into the springs. Um, but whether you want to go to the north or south or both, both entrances to do both things you can pay just one time and during that same day it'll get you in both sections now they open up at 8 o'clock and they do get pretty busy of course during the summertime so I would definitely suggest getting there earlier than later because once they hit capacity they will shut down the Itchentucky Springs is not huge so again it can fill up but if you're up for a little sh very short hike maybe about 10 15 minutes you can head on down to the blue hole trail another spring area um, and it may be a little bit less busy over on that side of things so out in the high springs area you've got a few different springs to choose from you've got jenny springs blue springs poe springs there's a lot of different options but jenny springs is one of the larger more popular ones so of course out of jenny springs you can expect that 72 degree crystal clear water year around and there are so many different activities and things to do at jenny springs of course you can inner tube down the river they've got scuba diving uh, snorkeling cave diving you can play beach volleyball they've got a small playground so there's a lot of different activities and things to do this is a larger park with a lot of campground sites and it stays very active it is also one of the few uh, springs and parks that allows alcohol so keep that in mind depending on the atmosphere and environment you're looking for Hey guys, if you're new to the channel, my name is Donovan and I am a local real estate agent here in Gainesville, Florida. I put out these videos to share with you exactly what you can expect if you're moving to the area. We talk about all the best restaurants, the best schools, all the great places to live. And if you don't want to miss a thing, make sure you start by clicking the subscribe button and also click the little bell so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. Recently, I've had so many people reaching out to me with questions and they're thinking about moving to Gainesville and I absolutely love it. So whether you're planning a trip or making a big move here to Gainesville, don't hesitate. Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. Let me know what questions you have and how I can help. Now it definitely gets hot in Gainesville, so be prepared for this next one, but it's one of our favorites to go and look at nature, see some alligators. You'll want to go over and visit the Lachua Trail. So the Lachua Trail is located off of the east side of Gainesville and it's just a beautiful scenic area. They've got a boardwalk out to the prairie. Now if you do decide to explore out into the prairie, make sure you keep any kids close by because there's nothing between you and the wildlife, mainly the gators. And that, for that reason, dogs are not allowed out on the Lachua Trail, but it is a beautiful area. Most of the time when we go out, we typically will seek alligators, but every once in a while there's been a couple of visits that we've gone out and we've seen no wildlife. So it's something to keep in mind. But if you're going out there and parking a vehicle, it'll cost you $4. But if you're just walking or riding a bike into the trail, it's only $2. Afternoon showers are extremely common here in Gainesville, especially during the summer. So you'll want a couple of fun things to do on those rainy days and the Cade Museum definitely checks that box. So if you didn't know already, Gatorade was actually invented here in Gainesville at the University of Florida and the main person behind that was Dr. Cade. So the Cade Museum is really hyper focused on innovation and creativity and it is also extremely interactive. There are a lot of different activities for the kids to get hands on, learn and play with. One thing to keep in mind is it is only going to be open Friday, Saturday and Sunday for general admission between 12 and 5 o'clock. 
it costs $12.50 for adults and $7.50 for kids under 17. Again, the Cade Museum is just a neat place to go spend an afternoon and because there is so much for the kids to do and experience and learn from, it's really a lot of fun. There's so much history, some old pictures, a lot of just unique history about University of Florida, Gainesville, and Gatorade in general. It's definitely worth a visit. So another museum that you may want to check out is going to be the Florida Museum of Natural History. The awesome thing about the Florida Museum of Natural History is it's actually free to get into and walk around and check out all the exhibits. Now they do oftentimes charge for specialty exhibits. Every so often they will rotate through some specialty exhibits, whether it's talking about sharks or slow moving animals or whatever it may be, but everything else is free. And right there attached to the Florida Museum of Natural History is going to be the Butterfly Rainforest. Now this one you do have to pay to get in. It costs $14 for adults and $7 for children between the ages of 3 and 17. But this is a really cool uh, rainforest, just butterflies all over the place, a couple of koi ponds. They've just got a lot of neat stuff to look at and explore. Now if you've got kids at home this summer, you'll definitely want to go over to Southeast Gainesville and check out Depot Park. Of course, all of the kids love Depot Park for the splash pad, but they do have a, a nice playground area with some awnings to keep it a little bit shaded and a little bit cooler. Uh, but of course it is going to get hot, so running and playing in the splash pad is a great way to cool off. You'll want to check out their website also because there are always a ton of events and different things going on at Depot park you can also rent the pavilions and have birthday parties and that sort of thing out there depending on what you're looking to do but for just a fun afternoon to go out play on the playground cool off in some of the water depot park should certainly be on your list so one of the great things about 